God, this is tall. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to give a trigger warning for uh, death of a family member and mentions of hospitals. So if you need to step out, please feel free to do so now. My name is Z. I'm a senior at Lincoln East. And this is my grandfather's lock. I should probably take this off. It's fine. My grandfather never throws away a key. Every key he owns is in a box, a bag, a case, a wallet, a drawer. Keys to trucks long since returned. Keys to suitcases tucked away in the garage. Keys to doors hundreds of miles away. Keys to padlocks stashed around the house. We've spent hours sitting in his room surrounded by keys. I find padlocks and search for the right key to open it. I always feel incredibly accomplished when I match the pair. I feel as if I'm finding the secret words that will help my grandfather to open up, let his past spill from his mouth, the stories of war helping him to empty his mind of trauma and horror. The only way to clean a rusty lock is to get it open first. Most people say that the lock is the question and the key is the answer, but this feels different. The keys are my questions. They build up, never thrown away, sitting in boxes and bags and cases and wallets and drawers. Why was my grandfather immune to the medicine to knock him out? How was he brave enough to chat with the doctor in the middle of his open heart surgery? Like, hey doc, how's the surgery going? No mistake so far, oh watch out, your scalpel's about to fall in there. How long did it take to fix his heart with a pacemaker? Was he really awake the whole time? If they could fix his heart, why couldn't the doctors fix his broken ribs and the broken hip and the sores on his back? How many times did the pacemaker have to restart his heart? How long did the pacemaker keep trying to force the muscle to pump? When did it stop trying? So many questions, only a few locks, only a few answers. He was immune to the medicine because that's how his body works. The doctors wouldn't operate on him because they were scared that if his heart stopped, they wouldn't be able to save him. That's what the pacemaker was for. The pacemaker was supposed to save him. The pacemaker couldn't save him. As I search through the boxes of keys, I find a beautiful padlock, heavy, golden with a silver bar on top and the keyhole on the bottom. It is closed and locked. I search for hours to try and find the key for it. Every box, every bag, every case, every wallet, every drawer, I can't find it. A lock without a key, an answer without a question. The day my grandfather dies, I wake up to see one of the most beautiful sunrises I've ever seen. The sky is orange, pink, lavender. My grandfather's, the, the clouds are tinted peach and mango. My grandfather's shaking hands had spilled his juice and the clouds soaked it up as a sponge. My mother and I marvel at the streaks and don't think about why. It is an answer without a question, the unheard question that we don't know we have to ask, the missing key to a golden lock. My grandfather never threw away a key. He never threw away a question. I will never throw away a lock. Whether or not it has a key, whether or not you ask the question.